goes. Hospital. <laughs> I woke up this morning feeling a lot of pressure, like down there. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm dilated. I know what, what it feels like because it's my fourth child. As I was getting ready, I kept feeling contractions. But at the last minute, I was packing like my makeup case, jewelry, you know, last minute things that you pack for, you're gonna go to the hospital. Hello? Teresa. Hi. I'm going to the hospital. I feel pressure. You know, I had the runs, oh, so that's God, signs. We are ready. Time. Well, I'm waiting for Joe. What's he doing? He's having his coffee. What the hell's wrong with you? He's like, oh, it's your fourth kid now. Hon, we have to go. I have pain. What time are you going to the hospital? They're like, be here by nine. Yeah. So it's after nine. Yeah, but you know, my husband. <laughs> I just, well, well, I just. Late Teresa would be late to give birth. <laughs> Teresa was late. Teresa's always late. Let me read my emails. You're reading emails and you feel pressure? Perhaps you'd like to knit a sweater for the baby before you go in. Morning. Teresa's about to give birth, and she's still the same old super mom she always was. Do you want French toast or pancakes? Toast. French toast. Are you ready? Do you have your shirt? Say bye, mommy. Bring the baby home. Come on, Joe. Mr. Slowpoke, let's go, Joe. Any day now. Like, I, I'm gonna give birth, like, right here. Oh my God, it's hurting down there. Ow, ow, ow. I thought they were ready for me. They gave you a room or what? I was supposed to be at the hospital at 9, but I didn't arrive there until 10 o'clock. No more babies after this. We're done. Maybe three more after this. Yeah, OK. After coming out of you, you can have as many as you want. I'm so done. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that guy. There's really a man that gave birth. I saw him on TV that gave birth to a baby, so if he wants another baby, then that'll be him.